Hi, I'm Brick TCK, and today, as you can see, is I'm in the shop, the new shop, because today I got a school project I have to work on. Okay, because we read a book called Touching Spirit in School, and the teacher wants us to build totem poles to learn about stuff, and I'm gonna be carving mine. So I got pictures here, and I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And, um, so yeah, this is the shop. You can see that stuff. It's shelf. My shelf. This is just for me. Um, we got more stuff over here. We got more stuff over here. But that's not important. What's well, important what is what we're working on today. Okay. So I had to go get a stool to sit down. Because it's going to be a long process. And, so, I just bumped the clock. I had to fix that quick. It's fine, nothing's broken. But anyways, now we can get started. And we'll be using the Dremel, but I will show you how I'm gonna etch everything onto here. First, and then when I, I'll show you the finished project, project ugh, after I'm done um, Dremeling it out. And then, in, in the end, I'm going to um, spray paint my logo on. That's why the shelf's angled weird, because I may paint stuff up there, so it's out of the way. That's a bucket. That's a bucket. That's a bucket. Now I got more room. Okay. So first, I'm going to be right back. Cut these out. And... I've got a paper. Oh no. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I got the paper. Because certain animals have to go certain places. Or I don't get points for it in class. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to be right back to cut these things out. So then I can like figure out where they need to go on. The wood. Which is this wood. And then, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do all that. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back. Now, just think about this while I was cutting these out, because I got them all cut out. Alligator, spider. So, wolf and alligator need to go on the bottom. And then it needs to go spider, raven, and then bull and rabbit. And all, because it goes past present, future, and what we decided to do, because based on stuff, life, events, and whatnot. So then, I now figured, remember that I need a stapler or tape or something. I'm gonna go find one of those. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do this differently now. I'm gonna, okay, so, got my wood. Gotta make sure everything can line up just right. Oh, wow. It's gonna be like really cluttered looking. Okay, so make sure you trim everything down so that it fits how you want it to. So you can get everything onto here. Okay, so there's that. It has to sit way at the bottom. And it has to go wolf and spider and raven. I'm just gonna do the rabbit head. Cause it's smaller, so I can also fit, so I can fit everything onto here. So then, once you get all that done, then I'm gonna sketch out. I'm gonna show you that when that's done. Okay, so I got the alligator done. That's what I'm gonna do for the alligator. It's gonna look completely different because actually it's gonna have eyes here and then like mouth. It's gonna look like more like that. So that so I just took this. Don't throw your tools. I took my exacto knife. I laid it on the wood like this, sort of. Then I just traced around it and took the details that I wanted, and then I did that to figure out where everything need to be. Then I sharpied it. Make sure you use sharpies, well, because if you don't, you can mess stuff up. Okay, now. I'm going to do the rest of these, and I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to go figure out what my dog keeps barking at. I'll be right back. Okay. Finally got everything on there. I did, like, I just sketched the bowl out. I didn't trace it or anything. But I did get the rabbit on there, the bird. I feel like it's going to be a little closer. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. But got all the animals on here. Now, here comes the difficult part. 
actually cutting them out. I'm going to show you how you do one, how I did one. And I'm going to do the rest. And then I'm going to come back, show you how I did them. And it'll be good. The good. I need to go find an extension cord. Okay. So I got this working. You might be able to hear that. Now, whenever you do stuff, make sure you have safety glasses. And now, I'm going to say this now. And all the controversy about pit vipers right now. I do not believe in that stuff. I I like these sunglasses, but I'm not going to destroy them. That'd be wasting my money, my time. I get what they did was wrong. Don't judge me on that. Judge me for what I actually build. Which reminds me, I should go find actual sun like actual protective gear. But I have these. You've seen me wear them in videos. <sighs> Where am I going to find those at? I think they're inside. Okay, now I got actual safety glasses. Don't know why I forgot them. I'm going to carve the, I'm going to carve the alligator out first. Then I'm going to come back. <sighs> and I'm going to show you. And, yeah, and make sure you wear like something long sleeve when you use Dremels. Because I've, I've had um, cutoff wheels explode. Like, it'll go everywhere and it could hurt your arm. Use those. Or like wood could get thrown everywhere and hurt your arm and stuff. But I'm going to do this, come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, so I got that done. Okay, so now I'm going to take an intermission, take a breather, and relax a little bit. Because that was like really big and then we're going to talk about that more. Now, I know this is the wrong video. I should create its own separate video. But Pit Vipers, I've heard a lot of different stories about what happened, what they said on Easter on Instagram. Now... I don't know what actually went on, so I don't know if I should wear them. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how many people even saw it. I don't even know if it's real because all, all I've heard is from the internet. Half the things on the internet you can't trust. People are in, I know like 20 people are going to see this and be like, oh, well, maybe, I don't know. Well, it was this way, it was that. I don't know. I like pit, I like I like the sunglasses. They're nice sunglasses. They're comfortable. They're they good for what they do. But if someone that actually works for Pit Piper said that, um, certain things should be pressed out. But like again, like I said before, I started before I went and got these because you're supposed to wear those, not sunglasses. Um, don't judge me on what I wear. What? Yeah, don't judge me on what I wear. Judge me on what I say, and what I do. Do that. Don't do the other thing. Because what I don't like what they said on Instagram. No one does. But... See, my family, we're Christian, or Catholic, but Christian. Part of that religion. And what Pip Viper said was wrong. And stuff like that, but don't judge me because I wore those in one video. Like, again, judge me on the content I make, on what you see me do, how I react to things. That's beside the point, that's not what this video is about. Um, now, back to this, back to my project. So, I carved it out with an engraving bit, it worked really well, looks pretty nice. And what you want to do is take like a file or something. And just file it down. <sighs> and then you can come back with like um, plastic scissors and grab a bunch of tiny stuff and just cut that off that the file didn't get, didn't smooth down. And because we're going to take a sanding bit to it later when we got all of them done. And then we're going to spray paint logos on there. And then that's it. Then it'll be done. So I'm going to go do the rest of these. And then I'm going to come back, show you about what we're going to what we're going to do next. And then, yeah, that's it. And then we might do touch ups with a larger bit. Might not, I haven't decided yet, but we'll get to that.
and I'll be right back when all of them are done. Okay, there. Now. Got all that done. Now. Again. See, I got everything done. There, you can kind of see it. Oh, no, I forgot the... Hold on. I forgot something. Hold on. Oh. 
It's been running. Okay, so you probably just heard me do that. So if you saw me look over there, I heard the door moving. And um, sometimes the wind does that, but there's like no wind today. So maybe just picked up. And so now we're gonna do this. All the lines with Sharpie so you can be more defined. The bird. That spider in there. Okay, now I'm going to. Okay, I got that done. Uh, Define. Now I'm going to split them all up into their sections with. Probably actually going to finally use the cutoff wheel. But I have to. There we go. So I'm going to use the cutoff wheel to separate all these. And hopefully not burn it this time. Because <laughs> last time I cut some with the cutoff wheel, it usually just like. like chars it and scores it fire and I'm using um number 49 cutoff wheels to thin cutoff wheels I originally got these to work on hot wheels with but that didn't work too well I needed a jeweler saw to do that so now I can I can use these for my projects and these absolutely fly off like like they will break my I might show you um they'll they'll just break like shatter and you could have been doing absolutely nothing just put it in start spinning it and then just crack well well now i gotta put another one on because i'm almost out of cutoff wheels so i have like only a couple tries with them but i'm gonna come right back when this is done, well, the lines are cut, and then, yeah, I'll show you what um, that, I'm going to show you the done front face, and then on the back, we're going to put TCK TNT ink on the back, kind of up top, I got to cut that off too, um, and then on either side, I'm thinking about putting on like like where it's at, like it'll say brick TCK because I made stencils, which I'm going to show you after I'm done with all this. So I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so got that all cleaned up. Got the lines, 
in there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, see right there. It's one of the lines that separate from past, present, future. And the cutoff wheel broke. As you can see, it has the bit there that holds it on, but it just gone instantly. It just shatters because it gets so hot and wobbles around, and then it just boom gone. So now that's done. Um. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna clean up, and then I'm gonna get the stencils to show you what I'm gonna do with this next. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back show you what's left, and then I'm gonna go paint. Okay, there. Yeah. Ugh, okay, so these are the stencils that I made. I just. Use my pocket knife and cut them out. And this one, TNT ink. This one, brick TCK. I'm gonna put these in here, like kind of make it look cool or whatever, and that whole thing. But I was gonna use the stapler because that would be easier to hold them on. But I can't find the stapler anywhere. So I'm going to have to go figure out where that's at. And, um, yeah. Um, I'll be right back. If I find it, I'll be back when this is all done to show you. And, yeah. So I'm going to go do that. And then, yeah. Okay, so. I just got done painting it. Oof, this has been a long video. Um... But, um, God, time is it? Okay. So, I'm gonna have to be pretty, I'm gonna have to get done soon, but, so I'm gonna go show you it. I'm gonna show you what I did, and of course I put my logo on it, logo. And I put TNT ink on there, because that's what I want to create into a brand of my own. Someday. Someday. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna... Cut the video, then, well not cut, but I'm gonna stop the video, then I'm gonna go outside, where it's drying, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about what I, I'm gonna talk about it there. Okay, as you can see, I'm now outside. Okay, so I'm trying to show you this. Whatever. Okay, so, I'm not sure if he is running, so I think that looks pretty cool. Um... And on this side, it says Brick TCK, and on this side, it says TNT Ink. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed. It's a bad angle. There we go. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. And um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.